So let's say you get offered a new job on a daily rate and your current job is on a fixed monthly salary and you want to make an informed decision as to whether the new job is better than the old job. And in order to do that, you need to compare the whole year for both jobs, okay, the old and the new. Now the problem is the new job is on a daily rate, which means that your monthly salary is not going to be the same depending on how many working days you have in that month, which is uh, based on, you know, how many weekends and holidays you have. Those have to be deducted. So let's use this template um, to compare the two jobs. So the first thing we need to name the uh, year cell. So we go here and we write here. A name has been created now for the year. We do the same for daily rate. And now uh, we go to the column of the month column and uh, we're going to create a formula to give us the first day of the month. And then, uh, you know, uh, we're going to reformat it later on to display the month name. So to get the first day uh, or first date of the month, we're going to use a formula called date. And the date formula is going to ask for the year. And this is the year. And as you can see, it got referenced correctly. Now for the month, we're going to... Uh, you know, create a sequential formula, which basically, you know, subtract the row number for the table header from the current cell that we are in. So as we move down the, the table, you know, the uh, it's going to give us a sequential number. Okay, so uh, the function we're going to use for that is called row. And for the current row, we just uh, put it in uh, between two uh, you know, parentheses here, and we subtract the row, as we explained for the uh, header. And um, with that, we finish. And uh, so this is the, it's going to give us the month number. And for the day, we need the first day of the month. So we put one. And when we hit enter, as you can see here, we get the first date of the month. Now you might be wondering on these numbers and what they mean. Basically they are dates and they represent the first day of the month is they are just in the wrong format. So let's fix that by selecting the whole column and um, go into uh, the uh, format section here and we select short date. And as you can see here, the first day of the month got displayed. Now to calculate the number of working days, we use a function called network days, and we have two. One of them is the default. The other one is, um, you know, allow you to, uh, you know, um, uh, define um, which days are uh, weekends. So we're gonna use the uh, the one with more options, with this one, uh, network days international. And uh, for the start date, we need the first date of the month. And for the end date, we need the end date for the month. And to achieve the, or to get the end date of the month, we're gonna use the end of month function. And the end of month function is gonna ask us for the start date and then the number of months that we would like to shift this date where, and then we get the um, uh, end of the month. But we're not going to be shifting. Um, we need to be in the same month. So this is going to give us the end of month date for the current month. And after that, once we get uh, put the uh, end date, we can select our weekend and uh, we can select, for example, uh, Friday and Saturday. And we select the holidays and the holidays has to be in a column like this with dates defined. And you select the whole column here, and uh, and this is it. And when you hit enter, uh, you can see uh, the number of working days gets displayed. Now for the uh, now the monthly salary, we have the daily rate, and we had it defined as a name. We multiply it by the number of working days in each month. And as you can see here, we get the monthly salary. Um, and it's changing based on how many working days we have in each month. Now, let's say our old job is, uh, for example, um, 2,400, and I put it in functions as, uh, so it gets filled uh, for the whole column because it's a fixed number. So as you can see here, the new job actually is better 
than the old job in terms of you know how much uh, you earn from it okay so uh, this is how you make a comparison between two jobs um, one of them is on the daily rate now for the month as i said we uh, can change the um, uh, the view so we need uh, to change it um, to display the month name to do that we go to custom format and we just write here four m's and we get the full month name and then we just align it to the left and this is it so this is uh, how uh, you can use this template and i hope you guys uh, found it useful and uh, thank you for watching see you next time